G'day everyone, Ozzy Sandman here, just going out to a metal detecting spot and I just thought I'd show all you people from overseas some of our Australian wildlife so have a look ahead there, there's a couple of kangaroos on the side of the road so we'll see how close we can get to them and just, we'll just park the car and just walking up to them beautiful animals hopefully they'll hop off and show you in full flight they look like the eastern greys you can see they're only about 40 foot away so they're not not too scared of us at all but these are totally wild animals, there they go there's some mother and child probably there's a few more just laying over here in the paddock on the side of the road so some bigger ones over here so we'll see um, looks like a family as well they're all sitting up now looking at me you know I'm coming they always come out in the morning and the uh, late afternoons that's when they do their feed but there's quite a lot there, there's four there over in the back I can see at least another five so beautiful animals looks like he's about to jump off little one's gone but there's another family of kangaroos right across the road you can see at least six of them there they go hopping away watch the dog dog chasing them, there goes the roos So it tends to be more modern in here. I haven't found anything old pre-decimal. Now I spoke in my last video about a pre-decimal fine. In Australia we changed our currency in 1966. We went from pennies, half pennies, sixpences. We went to one cent, two cent, followed the American system. So see how we go. Um, hopefully we get some old stuff, but if not, happy for um, the dollars and two dollars. So I'll come back to you with the first find. So I'll try and show you a live dig first up. I cut the plug out and getting a strong reading in there. So we'll see how we go. And out of that hole was this coin here, which I think is probably a 10 cents. And it is a 10 cent piece. So on to the next one. So I've just cut the plug out here. It was a reading of 1743. You can see it's in the plug. Normally, um, normally don't dig that sort of number. It's normally junk, but it is in the silver tones. So, it's out. And there it is. There, it's a bullet. Yeah, it's a bullet. That's a signal we will dig. You can see there it's a 12.44 could be a one or two cent piece or it could be silver so i cut the plug i know i cut a big plug but i'm neater at repairing them if i do a bigger plug I tend to get it out but i can see uh getting a good reading here i think it's a one or two cent piece there it is there coins pop straight out um it's only a two cents, which it is. Now I can see the two. So, okay, that's that tone. It's the same as the silver, the high coppers. So, we'll come back to the next one. So, just showing you there, you can see what I mean by there's that big plug I put back in, and you can hardly notice it. So, no one's going to trip over it, fall in a hole, anything like that. It's totally clean. So, I reckon sometimes the bigger the plug, the better. So in here, I had a 12.19, I flipped the plug out, and there it is sitting there. That's the third bullet I've found today, so. So on here, we've got a nice, strong signal. I've got a feeling it's a ring pull, though, from its tone. But we'll see how we go. Try and film this as best I can.
and it's out straight away. Can I find any coin? There it is there. The old pull tab, ring pull, whatever you want to call them. Okay, in this hole here, I've got a 1243. I thought it might be silver, but I'm just seeing it, see it in there. And it looks like another two cent piece, unfortunately. I was hoping for better. And it is, it's a copper two cent piece, reading up in the same bracket as the silvers. So we'll keep looking, hopefully, we'll find some silvers. Okay, so in this hole here, I've got a 1220. It's normally. 20 cent piece, helps if I turn it on. I'm good at that. There's something in there. Another 20 cent piece. It's another bullet. Find lots of bullets. I don't know if this had anything to do with an army base. I know there's an army base at Dickey Beach, but I'm not sure what caliber these are. But that's quite a few of them I found today now. Okay, we'll keep so somewhere in this plug here is a 1239 to 1241. So I'm thinking after the last couple, it's probably a two cent piece. But it's somewhere in somewhere in the plug. We'll open it up. And there is there. Little one cent piece. Oops. So in here we've got a 12.22. It's normally a 20 cent piece, but last time I said that it was a bullet. But it is in the plug here. Oh no, there's something sharp in there. That's why you wear gloves. A bit of can slaw. And I'm an idiot. Sticking my fingers in. Cut myself. That's why you wear gloves. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Hey guys, uh, you see the morning, it's absolutely beautiful in this park. Birds are all singing, quite happy, there's a, little, there's a cricket pitch here. Rugby goals down there, no one here. There's a couple of dog walkers, but in this hole here we had a 12.44. And there you can see a good example of Two cent piece. And literally just next door to where that two cent piece was, which was right there, we've got another hole here. Another reading of a 12.40. So we found it. Um, it's a ring. I don't know if it's junk or what. It's been there a fair while. Looks like it's got a bit of a gold tinge to it, but it's not that heavy. In fact, it's very light. So that was reading at... Reading at a... 12.43, which could be silver, probably not gold, it could be silver, but it's hard to know, but we'll clean it up later and have a look. So not far from the ring, we got a 12.32, 12.36, we're jumping around a bit, I flipped out the plug, and I can just see down here on the side, a coin, and it looks like an Aussie 2, and it is. Been there a fair while, but that's a $2 coin. Oh, it's in the plug here. Uh, I was actually pinpointing in the wrong spot as usual. Dug one hole, and oh, there it is there. I don't know what that is. Shut that up. It's a bit of junk jewellery. Stone in the end, it's probably plastic. And fake gold. No idea what that is, but it's something for the collection. In this hole here, reading a 12.36, it looks like it's an old button. It's got some writing on it. It's pretty cruddy. I don't know how it's going to clean up. I think it'll probably disintegrate, but it looks, uh, I can't quite read what it says, but we'll have a look later and see what it comes up with. This hole read a 12.39, and the reason being, there was a couple of coins, a couple of one cent pieces. Nice strong signal. But uh, they're not goldies or three decimal silvers but two's better than none okay just a quick wrap up this was just a quick one and a half two hour hunt in the park i'll just show you quickly what we got 
we got junk, a bit of copper pipe, can saw, interesting little bit of brass with a El Cheapo jewelry. Don't know what that's off. I think it's off the end of something. Like you can see a screw thread in there. It's probably off the end of a wand or something. The button, it's got the writing on. It, we don't know yet. Old bowl, couple of ring pulls. That's the ring we found. There's a little bit of weight to it. I don't know. It read, read in the 40s, which is a silver rating. We'll clean it up and have a look. Four bullets, um, tens, twos, two dollar coin, quite a few ones, a couple more tens, and another two. So only only modern coins, which is um, not what I was hoping for. I was hoping for older ones. So I'm going to pack it up here and look for another park that's a bit older because to be honest you get bored just finding you know clad coins it's um there's plenty there i didn't dig most of the signals anything that up to 12 12 i didn't dig because it's normally a 10 cent piece or a 5 cent piece so there's plenty here in the ground if anyone wants to come and get them there's tons here but um gets a bit boring after a while so we'll go look for another park or somewhere a bit older